An unusual challenge from a young man with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease is helping to raise millions to help discover a cure. It's called the Ice Bucket Challenge. Fox 32's Larry Yellen has the story. Here we go. Outside the Chicago headquarters of the ALS Association this afternoon, Tony Cook doused himself with ice water and challenged other prominent Chicagoans to do the same or contribute $100 apiece to fight ALS. The Chicago White Sox, the Chicago Cubs, and Chicago's own icon, Oprah Winfrey. The challenge originated in Boston with 29-year-old ALS patient Pete Freights and a friend who wanted to raise awareness and dollars for ALS research. Pete says that ALS has no bounds and it, it will affect anyone at any time. Pete's challenge even prompted Ethel Kennedy to call out the White House. Welcome to Cape Cod, President Obama. <laughs> I nominate you. Residents of Boston have challenged New York, Los Angeles and Chicago to get out their ice buckets. No word yet for Mayor Emanuel, but other Chicagoans seem more than willing. This has really helped bring um, ALS to the forefront into the consciousness of, of, of folks who would never otherwise care or know about the disease. Nationwide, the challenge has raised over $1.3 million, compared to about only $20,000 for the same two-week period one year ago. Communications experts say it shows how social media has changed the fundraising landscape. You involve people who really don't have the money, they might be students, they might not have that kind of disposable income, but they can still participate by challenging other people they know that might have more means. The ice bucket challenge is likely to keep growing, and who am I to throw cold water on a hot idea? <laughs> Jeff and Dawn. I challenge you, Larry Yellen, Fox 32 News. Right. What a sport. Uh-oh. I'll do it, Larry, and I'll put ice in my bucket because I didn't <laughs> notice any ice in Yellen's bucket. I think that's a re-challenge, It's a re-challenge, Larry. I did expect <laughs> we'll like, possibly a brook trout or something if Larry likes to fish. I thought it'd fall out, but no. <laughs> Great story, Larry. Thank you very it much. Uh, Facebook Messenger.